Okay, we're going to continue our Pi game tutorial here. Uh, if you haven't watched the first video, I recommend going back to my videos and finding uh, Pi game tutorial 1. This is Pi game tutorial 2, and today we are going to just continue the code we were writing. Last time we just created a window. This time we're going to add some images to that window. Um, so, first thing we need to do is get ourselves an image. So let's go online, go to Google. I'm just going to do a search for Tux images. I'm going to select this image here. It's If I drag it here, you can see it's a PNG, and it has a transparency label, which is perfect for what we're doing. I'm just going to copy the location of it, and wget. Oops, didn't mean to open a new window. Twice in a row. OK. <laughs> Paste, enter, downloaded. It's called tux.png. So now let's go right into writing in our code. So, vim mygame.py, which is what I named it in the first tutorial. And we're going to start adding some stuff here. What I'm going to add is right here, I'll create a variable, an object called tux. And I will set that equal to pygame.image.load. So we're loading an image. What image are we going to load? We're going to load tux png so we're loading the image there we still have to display the image so what we're going to do is called blitting or blit we're going to take we're called surfaces which this image is a surface and we're going to blit it to the screen so the way i'm going to do that is i'm just going to go screen dot Split. So basically, we're making this image, the surface, part of the screen. And we're going to go tux, comma. And then we're going to put the where we want the top left and top, well, yeah, the top left. The top left corner, uh, where we want the top left corner of the image to be on the screen. So I am going to put in parentheses, I'll put 200 by 200 so it's going to go 200 over and 200 down that's where the top left of the image will start close our parentheses uh, we well I'll show you right now it doesn't still doesn't display it on the screen when we run our code see we still just have a black screen we have to redraw the screen every time we want to make a change to it so uh, for now I'm going to just put it right here. Pygame.display.flip. Oh, <laughs> be good if I had gone into edit mode first. Pygame.display.flip. <clears throat> you can tell I'm one of those people who look down at my keyboard while I'm typing because I didn't see that till I was pretty much done. Anyway, <laughs> this will redraw the screen. Now, it's okay to put it here for now. In the future, if we're going to have things animated, we're going to have to add this down to our while loop so it refreshes the screen each loop. But for now, we're going to put it there. Save that, exit out, run our code again, and here's our window. And you can see our tux image is right here. It's 200 over and 200 down, and that's the top left of the corner screen there. Now, we can do the same thing here. Since we already have, if we wanted to add another image, that same image of Tux, we don't have to load the image a second time. Uh, it's already loaded there. All we have to do is blit it. So we're going to draw it onto the screen a second time. So I am just going to copy and paste this line, like so. And I am going to change this. I'll just change it to 0, 0, so it will be all up on the top left of the screen there. I'll run my code again, and now we have two tuxes. Now you notice this tux, if you look at his foot there, is on top of this tux, and that's because we drew him second. So the order you draw stuff in decides where it is. The stuff drawn first will be in the background, the stuff drawn second will be in the foreground. So that is how you add images to your Pi game script. I hope you're learning something. I hope you're enjoying this. We're going to get into a lot more stuff. Little by little as these uh, tutorials go on, visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this. Have a great day.